I have strawberries growing in this bed that are delicious. I also have strawberries in this bed that are painted rocks. My grandkids painted these and they're great for identifying what plants are growing in the beds. It's an easy project for your family, especially kids. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, a master gardener who discusses everything gardening so that you can become a better gardener. And today, I'll show you how we make painted stone plant markers. I really like the idea of plant markers that can not only stand up to the weather, but also look artistic in the garden. And that's what this project is. Over the years, I've had many visitors to my garden that will see a plant and ask what it is. Well, a plant marker not only answers that question right away, but if it adds a little bit of color, a little bit of art to the garden, it's even better. My daughter and her kids have become experts at this. They've been painting rocks for quite a while. In fact, in their front yard, they actually have a section with their painted rocks and they allow people walking by to just pick up a rock, as many as they want. And they've even reached the point where others are painting rocks and leaving them in their landscape. I think that's a great way to bring the neighborhood together. Well, I've enlisted their help today to show you how it is that they paint rocks as plant markers and where I've used them in the garden. The project begins, of course, by selecting your stones. And feel free to grab different shapes, different sizes, and that may help determine what you paint on them. And then you'll add acrylic paint. And the colors are completely up to you as well. Now, of course, I do recommend a lot of greens if you're going to be using them as plant markers in your garden, but again, the creativity is what's really at work here. And so what my daughter has figured out is to take the acrylic paints and put them into an egg carton. This really allows for quick, easy access to the different colors, especially for the kids. Now, my daughter and granddaughters are focusing on plant markers for the garden, but you don't need to stop there. Like these strawberries, you can just make little works of art to place around your plants and add some nice color to the garden. I'm going to do a carrot with this one. Why are you going to do a carrot? Because I think it looks like one and you have some in your garden. If you plan on adding detail later on and before you put the words of the plant markers on, go ahead and paint a base coat and then allow that base coat to dry. I am doing the part that sticks out of the ground so you can pull the stem. Doing the stem right now with the green. So why did you put the rock over there? To let it dry so then I can get the dark green and do some details with it. I like my carrot. Have fun with this project because the kids will definitely have fun. And don't worry if they're not painting the way you want them to paint. Just give them some freedom and then enjoy what results you get. If you want a deeper, richer color, well then go ahead and put a second coat on and allow it to dry. When you have the color you want, then you can go ahead and start painting on the letters or any other details that you like. Hey, 
what, what your plan is, what you're going to do. So I'm going to, well right now I'm, I'm going to do a plate with carrots on it. I'm gonna do speckled lettuce. When everyone is done painting, then it's time to let the stones dry. Now, I'll take them outside in the sun. It's a very easy, effective, and fast way to dry the stones. In cooler months, you can use a blow dryer on a hot setting, and that'll dry the paint as effectively. After the paint is dry, it's time to seal the stones with an acrylic sealer. If you don't do this step, then the paint will peel when exposed to rain and sun. But it's really quite easy. In the same spot that I was drying the stones in the sun, I take a spray can of the acrylic sealer and just coat the rocks completely. The sealer will take longer to dry than the basic paint. I give it a few days, at least three days before I put them outside. But with that exterior sealer, those stones can handle any weather. Wind, rain, snow, the paint will look great and the stones can be used for many years. This is a wonderful project. I really enjoy doing it with my family. And that's why I recommend you consider doing it with your family, because now, I can go all over my garden and see everything from carrots to little strawberries, in addition to having the markers that others can see so they know what plants I'm growing. If you liked this project, well, go ahead and click the thumbs up below and share it with others who you think might be interested as well. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. <music>